Hey, go small, live large viewers. Thanks for tuning in today. My name is Scott, your host. You can see I've got some new wheels in front of me, bought a bicycle. My bike is kind of dirty. I've been out in the, in the sand. So uh, let's go wash off the Travato using the back uh, water system. I think you'll find this to be uh, very intriguing. And then we'll rack the bike. Uh, I ordered the Travato with the bike rack and um, show you how that works. All right, let's go. All right, so we parked the bike against the tree, and what I want to do is show you the uh, the water system uh, and, and how that operates. It's pretty groovy. Right. So welcome back to the uh, back half of the Travado. Just give you a quick orientation here, what we're looking at. This is the uh, storage closet, which is super handy. Um, switches, we have the water pump, so you don't have to run around to the front and get inside to use the water pump. The water pump access switch is right here. Um, I'm currently connected to um, city water, so won't be needing that. This switch is for the side light um, above the, uh, the connection, so you can get some illumination in the dark. And then this switch is for the uh, porch light in the back. Um, so that's what those switches are. This is um, cold and hot water, um, and this comes uh, with the Travato standard. This uh, is also uh, standard with the Travato, and this is the connection hose. So again, I have city water turned on, and uh, this is a special, whoop, special kind of connection that, um, unless it's plugged in, it won't work. So if I turn the water on, um, nothing comes out. So what we want to do is just insert into the hose, give it a little firm push and that's it to release you push on this little sleeve ring and then that releases uh, from the, the water so that's how that works and what I want to do is now rinse off the bike this is such a great feature of the Travato uh, let's just do a little test spray here oh yeah there we go Ooh, get the camera wet okay let's wash off the bike all right so I got the bike leaned up against the tree here I will grab our trusty water spray. I just love this. And I simply turn the water on and give it a spray. And look at this, I am rinsing off my bike. Getting all that sand off. So we got dogs, kids, wives or husbands, partners of all types. This is a great way to hose them off, chill them out on a hot day. Uh, just can't say what a great feature this is to have on your Travato. And again, it's, it's uh, hot and cold water. So when you're done, you simply turn the water off. Take the pressure off, release the sleeve here. And then what I like to do is uh, let it drain by just kind of holding up and opening up the, uh, the faucet valve. So you can see there's quite a bit of water in there. I don't want that in my Travato. And then uh, that's it. It gets tucked back in here in this little cubby spot. And uh, that's how you wash your bike, kids, shoes, partners off with your Toronto. Pretty cool, right? All right? So let me show you this bike rack. Um, this was an option for the 2019 Travato. Um, in my opinion, it's worth every dime. Uh, there's uh, uh, another brand that came with previous versions of the Travato, but uh, this one has a nice improvement because you can load the bike and still open the door. And we'll show you that. Um, it folds up very compactly against the back. It only extends maybe maybe 12 inches uh, from the door, so there's really no impact on the, the parking uh, side here. Um, so it's very clever. Uh, there's these snaps here that hold it in place. You undo those, you kind of raise these bad boys up, and then the bike rack itself just comes down like that. There's uh, two red um, snappy things that, the, that it snaps into place from a, a horizontal platform level, and then there's two um, screw knobs uh, here that you undo f uh, quite a bit. I'm just going to do the one because I only have one bike today, and this slides out to accommodate uh, the size of the bike and the way this works is the back tire goes here the front tire goes in this way and then this comes down and it holds the um, the bike frame 
very secure. Um, I purchased this uh, down in Lake Worth a couple of days ago and drove it a um, couple and a half hours north, and about a hundred, a couple hundred miles, and zero issues. Well, a little uh, tip here, when I'm loading it, is I take this strap, which goes through the wheel spoke and, and secures uh, this way to the, the bike rack itself. So what I do is I kind of tuck it in this little spot right here on both of these so that the strap is not in the way when I load the bike. Uh, now I'm dealing with a tree above me here, but that's for decoration. All right. I find it's easier to put the back tire in first, get the tree out of the way, and just kind of snug with the, uh, the front tire so it's sitting in the tray now. And this comes down and secures the frame right here. It's kind of like a zip tie type of feature. And then this goes through the tire into the piece right here. Secure this one. And that's it. It is ready to go. It uh, takes just a couple of minutes and is super easy, super secure. And I know some of you out there are going, but what about locking up the bike? So what I do is I have my bike lock, secure it through the, through the frame and through the trays, because those don't come off without getting out a toolkit and locking it like that. So it's secure on the Travado itself. It's secured from a, a, an opportunistic theft situation and it's good to go. It's just a great, great solution. And uh, again, one of the great things about this is, um, I think this is Winnebago brand bike rack, is that I can do this. And I can get into the back without unloading the bike. Is that groovy or what? So there you go. Ride your bike, have fun with your bike, clean your bike, rack your bike, secure your bike. Another reason why we Travato. Hey Siri. Stop the music.